How's it guys? So, I thought I'd just make this little video. Um, the way we set up the camos with fish finders, or for any boat really, um, is to use the throttle hold option for the fish finder. And um, why we do that is, obviously with a foster boat, with the slower boats it's fine, you know, you're not going to really pick up a, a deviance, but for, for the camo, you know, it sits like that on the water for instance. And if you're using a throttle um, and you're steering and you're trying to find structure with your fish finder, you can't keep a constant throttle, it's very difficult because you can always be doing something, right? And, and the boat would be, obviously, your plane would not be a consistent plane, it would be hopping around. So you're not going to get a consistent feedback from your fish finder, you'll find that your, it'll, the depth will jump around and so forth. So I set up throttle hold so that this has only one speed. A speed for your fish finder at a nice slow speed and then you can just steer and do what you need to do so let me explain to you how to actually set it up um, so you're gonna put your remote on the boat's gonna be off and the first thing you need to do is you've, you've got to activate uh, your, your auxiliary switches so you're gonna go into your menu hold this button in and we're gonna go to setup menu okay we go use that to navigate say okay and we're gonna scroll down to Right to the bottom, aux switches go in there. Make sure they're all on, okay? Well, SWA is the one we want on, okay? But they can all be on. Um, and then you say, okay, if you want to save what you've done, you just hold cancel in. Okay, and we're going to go out of there. And now we're going to go to the spanner. Spanner. Say, so, okay. Now we're going to scroll down. To assign switches okay so we're going to assign switches we say okay and we want to jump down to throttle hold sorry throttle hold over there and we want to make sure that it's set to SWA SWA say okay oh, sorry not okay hold cancel in and it's saved then we go down to throttle hold and we put it on, on. It might have been off there like that. We'll put it on there, and then you'll see on the next one is your your value. So now what you do is you put your boat in the water, um, and you activate. So if I flip the switch now, you'll see it says active. Throttle hold inactive, active, and you can set your speed that the boat travels at. So you can see now once it's active, you've got it in the water, you up, you up your speed, you see what speed is a nice slow constant speed for your fish finder to work at. And if you're happy with that speed, you then obviously you can just take it out of throttle hold and you just hold your cancel in and it saves a value. So let's, let me show you now if I put this, let's put this boat on that's in front of me here. Okay. And if I go into I go into throttle hold just to show you it's on it's off okay and if I put this on now you'll hear the boat's now running and this throttle has no effect anymore I can just steer and I can up the value of the boat and if I'm happy with the speed save my speed and that's it and then go out of the menu and now your throttle hold set up so normal throttle throttle hold now you just steer and and that's a real cool feature for for finding features with your fish finder so that you have a nice constant speed and plane on your boat cool enjoy